Hey guys, man, I love Workato. Workato is a great low code, no code way of doing API integration. And so today we're going to integrate GPT-3 with uh, Google Spreadsheet here. So um, you can see these are some, uh, some content that I've had a GPT-3 generate for me. So all I gave it was a name and a LinkedIn URL, and it wrote a subject line and a body. And it did that based on the person's LinkedIn uh, URL. And so I'm going to show you here. I'm going to paste in a bunch more records here. And we'll go over here to Workato because it will it might take, well, it did find three new jobs. Tell it to check the new jobs now, but it will go ahead and fill in those. It's already started filling them in. Um, you can see it's putting them in there. So. Yeah, so it's generating that. And so um, basically the way that GPT-3 works is you give it a prompt. You tell it um, what you want. <laughs> this is funny. The one sentence email subject line would be, you're invited to connect with Mary and Jacobs on LinkedIn. Um, that's um, this one sentence email subject is partly what I told it to write. <laughs> so anyways, let's go into Workato. This is Workato and these are the different jobs that have been running. Um, so you can see, you know, kind of a log of everything that's been running and um, you can even customize this description here so it would show you more about the job. And so let me go into recipe here and you can see the recipe in Workato, um, a workflow is a, called a recipe. And so we have a, uh, a trigger waiting for a new row to show up in our Google Sheet and we told it, you know, the specific Google Sheet to look at. And then it makes two calls to GPT-3, one to generate the email subject, one to e generate the email body. Then we grab the results from those two API calls and we update the Google Sheet. So pretty simple. Um, let me go ahead and stop the recipe and I'll go ahead and show you the details here. So waiting on a spreadsheet is pretty standard. Um, that's pretty easy. Um, this is the name of the email or the name of the spreadsheet that we're using, GPT-3 writes subject lines for cold emails. Um, we, we're looking at sheet one, and we're just waiting for a new um, row to show up, okay? Then uh, the next step is that we're gonna call GPT-3, and so we're doing a post to their open API, um, and we're sending it this little JSON packet, and we're sending it this text, right? This is a prompt, write creative one sentence email subject based on, and I just passed in their link, their LinkedIn URL, okay? So this prompt is just you writing in natural, you know, English language, what you want it to generate. You could tell it to generate a blog post, you could generate, to, you know, tell it to generate content uh, for something, maybe based on an image or something, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with um, GPT-3, I'm not an expert with that yet. Um, and then I have another call here to generate the, the body, oh, and, and by the way, on this email, um, I specified a max tokens of 50, which uh, will help to affect how long the text is that it returns. And then on the uh, email body, posted at the same place, but this time I, I told it to write an email paragraph from Bob Smith to the person's name, which is uh, what I'm getting from the spreadsheet based on their LinkedIn URL that's from the spreadsheet. So step one is getting the spreadsheet row, right? And then this one I told it to use a max tokens of 200. So obviously I can tune and tweak each one of these prompts to uh, generate uh, what I need from GPT-3. And then here we just grab the data from, this is the data that's returned from each of these two steps, from step two and step three. And then we update the row in Google Sheets. Uh, we tell it the same spreadsheet, which sheet within that spreadsheet, the row number, which is based on the row number that was sent in here on this trigger. And then for the columns, we're not going to overwrite the name and LinkedIn URL, but, but we are going to overwrite the subject and the body based on the variables that we got from here. So pretty cool, um, works pretty good. And so that's um, how you generate data directly from GPT-3 using Workato. Uh, if you have need, need any help with Workato or any kind of API integration, uh, let me know. My contact information will be in the description. Thank you.